I know you're making gains. I'm trying to give you everything you want. Please just take it. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 that is unique enough of course in alphabetical order and this time we're back with the nation of Bologna. Bologna is a republic located in Italy, a pretty small nation, not very powerful and it's one of the only nations in the north of Italy that's not in the HRE, well pretty much the only one along with Venice. But we do have some excellent national ideas pretty good for playing tall to be honest some construction discounts dev discounts morale that's pretty strong pretty strong goods produced plus 10 percent sign me up one of the best ideas in the game and we also have some tech discounts so yeah pretty good for playing tall pretty good for forming italy but why form italy why go along the classic route of playing in italy and forming italy no 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 ladies and gentlemen what we're gonna do this time as bologna is we're gonna be forming the nation of texas that's right everyone we're gonna Gonna be going for the achievement called spaghetti western which requires us to start as bologna and form the nations of either texas or maybe mexico too if i'm not mistaken but of course we are going to be forming texas and i expect a very very fun campaign i've never played bologna and if you enjoy this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more a to z videos or more u4 videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything Let's jump in as Bologna. All right, all right, here we are as Bologna. Now, one of the first things we want to do is obviously enter the HRE so we can fight some of these guys and not wait for them to leave. So obviously, we're going to have to improve relations with Austria, maybe even ally them. Who can we actually ally, though? <laughs> no one. We're so small and insignificant that literally no one wants to ally us. OK, let's do some estate stuff then. Wait, what's this? We start off with a privilege? Well, that's pretty rare. You don't really see nations start out with privileges in 1444. All right, estate stuff done. I popped out some Catholic zealots because I revoked that uh, papal emissary privilege and I'm improving with Austria right now. So obviously we're going to have to expand in Italy a little bit, which I do love. I do love playing in Italy, but we're going to be opening up with exploration and expansion right away, even though we're so far away. Listen, we got to get colonization started, man. What can I say? So first, Let's deal with these guys and join the HRE. And there we go, all it took was a little improving with Austria, I did manage to royal marry them as well, and now we can join the HRE. That's great, that means we can fight all of these guys without fighting Austria. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get some allies first, and then we're gonna start our conquests. I'm gonna try and ally Milan, probably won't work. I'm gonna try and ally Austria, probably won't work as well. Please, someone like me, please. And there's that achievement, Spaghetti Western, starting as Bologna become Mexico or Texas or Sonora, apparently. Right, right. I have also managed to ally Florence, apparently. I was gonna fight them, but listen, I need an ally first, bro. I need an ally first. And I've started spying on Ferrara. I love how fast republics, you know, get uh, get reform progress. Let's see, what do we take here? We're an Italian signoria, obviously. Uh, let's go with uh, republicanism. Alright, let's get this party started by declaring on Ferrara. For the conquest of Ferrara, I am gonna call in Florence. There we go. Easiest pie, man. Easiest pie. I love playing in Italy so much. And the challenge of forming Texas is just an added bonus to me. Just an excuse to play in Italy, really. Alright, I was gonna go siege down Lunenburg, but they got uh, gobbled up by Verdun. And our first war is done just like that. Wow. We're so much bigger, so much more powerful. Ferrara is gone, got a center of trade, Po Estuary, salt, cows, cloth, mmm. We can make cheese and clothes and stuff. I love it. I love it. Now I'm just chilling, you know, trying to find some stronger allies. Austria obviously hates me, unlawful territory, yada yada, whatever. Maybe I'm gonna try and link up with France, but uh, yeah, next targets, mm, Mantua or Luca. It's gotta be one of them, bro. Dude. Tier 3 government reform time. Which one was the good one for republics? Uh, frequent elections? That's the one you want with uh, the Italian republics. I swear to it, I play in Italy like very often. I love to play in Italy like I already mentioned, but I don't remember the last time I spawned the renaissance, bro. Like, what do you gotta do to spawn it, man? Please, some luck, please. Oh, so now, uh, now Venice has decided to warn me. So I can't fight um, any anyone that they butter. Luckily, I can fight Luca, which was uh, gonna be my next target. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna deal with Venice later. Oh, oh, now they want to ally me. Fine, I'll accept. You know, I'm not such a bad guy, Ashi. Yeah, I'll accept. There we go. I'll even offer you knowledge sharing. Definitely not because of the money. Definitely because I like you, right? <laughs> it does feel very stupid to open up with exploration, right? Like. 
or so far away, dude. What, what can we explore? Like two tiles over here? Do I really want to do that? It's so counterintuitive doing it in Italy, man. Ah, uh, listen, let's let's get ahead of the curve, I guess. All right, so this little truce I had with Luca because I fought them in the same war with Ferrara is up, so it is time to declare on them. Conquest on Luca, can I cobbledge Genoa, and not really. Let's call in Florence, actually. There we go. I think I should probably start building boats. Yeah, I should, uh, I should start building boats. Now, I know I always stay in the HRE when the Shadow Kingdom event fires when I'm allied to Austria, but I'm the only nation in Italy allied to Austria. I'm the only one that would stay, so Austria's kinda gonna hate me, but, uh, let's leave. And another easy war done. Listen, I know I said Bologna is the weakest nation in all of Italy at the start, but maybe I was wrong. I think that is Montferrat right here. It is easy to get freed from Savoy, but it's so annoying because they get strong allies as well. Either way, let's not digress too much and let's full annex Luca. Sweet. Dude, I just went to build a building. What's up with these prices, man? It's so cheap. Like, what's the construction cost modifiers I have? Uh, let's see. Minus 24% growing economy, traditions, and the renaissance. Is growing economy a mission I got? Hmm. Well, listen, we got three lights. We can hire an explorer. Can we explore something? Please tell me I can explore something. Ah, yes. The West African Sea. I mean, hey, we're getting started. At least that's a thing. Oh, I just realized uh, uh, Venice is fighting the Ottomans. Uh, of course, uh, seasoned EU4 players would know that this is the perfect time to declare on them. So let's declare on Venice, call on Milan and Florence, sure. What do I want here? I guess I want stuff mainly over here. Maybe I'll give this to Milan or something. We'll see though, we'll see. Let's declare for Padova either way. Boom. And you all thought Bologna was tiny and insignificant. Or wait, I thought that. By the way, never mind the fact that we got 92% fort defense. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty good, you know. I wish we had more mountains to build more forts in. And uh, that's the only exploring we could do. <laughs> it was the only available option. Just the... Oh my god, didn't I literally say just like these two tiles right here or these two? Dude, we literally just explored this one and this one, I think. Uh, it's gonna be a slow colonization process, that's for sure. But Hawk, why don't you just no CB Moonster? I don't wanna. I don't wanna just no CB Moonster. Do something about it. Wait, this is actually pretty good. Colonial range plus 50%. Now we can probably explore some more. Yes, yes. West African Sea. Sea. Wait, no way, dude. No way. I can actually colonize Tenerife before even Portugal or Castile got to it, man. This is insane. Castile doesn't have any idea groups yet. And neither does Portugal, dude. Am I the first nation that's colonizing, man? I mean, listen, we're not doing bad on tech here. This guy is decent, I guess, but wow. Uh, this is totally unexpected. Yeah, I do want to colonize Tenerife. All right, there we go. I'm gonna take something like this. That's all I want. I know when to quit, you know what I'm saying. And I'm gonna take some money from Venice as well. Now, the thing with expanding here in Italy and why I just thought that I actually shouldn't be doing this is because to move our capital to the new world and form Texas or Mexico or Sonora or whatever, we only need to have only one province in the old world, which means I need to do something like, I don't know, move my capital to Luca and give all of this away. Or maybe I don't need to move my capital, but I need to pop out a vassal or something, give them everything I have over here in Italy to then be able to move my capital over to Texas and form Texas. Another way to do it is just release and play as a colonial nation, which is not something I want to do. I want to form Texas myself. But here's something else. If we do it too fast, and if the video ends up being too short, because I'm so fast and good at the game, of course, we might just hop back over to Italy and try and conquer as much of Italy as we can as Texas. So there's a little possible secondary challenge for you boys. But yeah, right now my boats died. Right, my boats died. Um, let's uh, let's build some more. But either way, with the colonization of Tenerife down here, it puts us in a literally the exact same position as Castile or Portugal, you know, the primary colonizers, who still haven't even taken exploration, by the way. I'm super, super fast. Not even England has it, although they don't always open up with exploration. So yeah, I'm not like super ahead in tech like Florence and the Ottomans, but we're doing really well. I didn't think we could catch this. I thought we were gonna have to hop over to Africa, then to Brazil, then to Texas. Man, Austria is going crazy over here. They got Bohemia, Hungary, Croatia, they just declared on Wallachia. What's their AE looking like? Not bad, actually. I feel like we should, like, uh, humiliate someone or show strength to someone. Let's, uh, let's try and do it on Genoa, huh? Uh, sieging down Cyprus isn't really gonna be possible. But yeah, they're the most likely option. So yeah. 
Hmm, what do we go with here? Administrative divisions or union of states? Uh, let's get some more trade power. Why not? Wait, I, I forgot I shuffled around my merchants to, um, to improve relations and stuff like that. Uh, let's, uh, let's taunt the transfer, shall we? Do you guys think I have high morale? <laughs> okay, that didn't work. I had the white piece. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, yeah, expansion, expansion, I know. Wait, do we really need it, though? Like, we just need to colonize, like, one province in the new world, right? What is it gonna help with? Let me think. Nah, let's go with quantity, huh? We haven't taken it in a few games. Yeah, mmm, feels good. Also colonizing Capo Verde, by the way. Inching ever closer to Texas, baby, yeah. Dude, am I gonna spawn colonialism? That would be pretty sick, right? Imagine, just imagine, mmm. Finally revenge for all those renaissances that haven't been spawned by me. Alright, we've even discovered North America, dude. I'm, uh, while well, this is Florida and the East Coast, right? Texas would be somewhere around here, probably, yeah. So, we're doing really well. I, uh, I'm very surprised still that we are, uh, so fast. I thought by this point, we wouldn't even know about this, dude. Again. Looks like Venice is having a nice time. Should I pile on as well? Eh, I'll let him be. Listen, I can't get too greedy. Now, the reason I'm not expanding right now is I don't want to grow too big, right, and give away all those provinces later and have to re-annex them, so I think my next plan of attack here is gonna be to vassalize some of these one province guys like Mantua or Urbino, and then feed them so I don't have just one giant vassal, but I have like two or three decently sized vassals. I, uh, I probably should have gone with influence, huh? And hey ho, we've discovered Texas, so we need to colonize provinces in the Rio Grande region right here. Of course, these, uh, they're too far away right now, but if I hop over over to maybe the Caribbean or maybe Brazil or something like that, then we can hop over to Texas, which is excellent. I think I'm gonna fight Florence now, maybe we'll pop out Pisa, we'll see what we'll do. I'm gonna call in the Pope too, give him Perugia or something like- wait, no, what? When did they ally France, dude? I literally checked a month ago, bruh. Alright, since so I can finally get one of my useless allies over here, such as Austria and France to help out, let's declare on Genoa, take Parma, maybe I'll pop out Parma from, well, Parma, and uh, of course I'm gonna call in Austria, thank you. Who are we fighting? Uh, not a lot of people, just annoying people. Alright, alright, war is done, what do we do here? Obviously I'm gonna take Parma, what about Genoa? Yeah, we're good. What about Albenga? We're still good, surprisingly. What about Corsica? Uh, yeah, sure, I, I don't care about coalitions, bro, I really don't. Uh, let's do that. Can the Vassal Swarm commence? Now, I feel like it would be stupid to release Corsica. I can't really give them a lot of stuff. Actually, let me get another claim on Milan right there. Let me pop out, um, let's see, where are they? Parma. There we go. I know I'm giving up super valuable provinces, but, uh, listen. We're gonna have to do it anyway, boys. We're gonna have to give up these provinces anyway. So let's give Genoa to Parma, and let's give them, uh, Albenga as well. And you know what? I'll give them Corsica too. Why not? There we go. The Vassal Swarm can commence. Hey, we colonized Cape Verde. Uh, where can we go next? Uh, let's take a look at the Colonial Range map mode, wherever that is. Diplomatic, it's not here. Economic, um... Oh, there it is. So we can colonize everything that's in the green. Ooh, so close to Texas. So close. Uh, let's go to Miami. Wait, what? <laughs> Castile declared war on me? Oh, no. No! France broke their alliance with me, like, two days ago. No. Bruh. Please. Oh my god. Ah yes, like the war declaration wasn't enough. <laughs> I, I may really be dead here, boys. Dude, these guys, they're ruthless, man. Listen, I'm giving them everything they want. Okay, they want Corsica? Sure. Luca? Sure. Tenerife? Sure. That's all they want. And they don't want to peace out. They don't want me to return cores. They don't want me to cancel subjects or release nations or annul treaties. Uh, what else? War reps? They still don't want it. I'm giving them everything they want. Genoa? No. Minus 1000. Parma? No. Minus 1000. I can't win. Please. <laughs> Why did you betray me, Austria? Why, France? Pain. Pain. That's all I can say. Pain. Please, dude, just take the stuff. What do you mean you're making gains? I, I know you're making gains. I'm trying to give you everything you want. Please, just take it, Castile. Oh my god. Well, you know, the upside is I, I did actually just spawn colonialism. <laughs> is there even an upside? Bro, Morocco and Milan are now supporting Parma's independence. Why Morocco? What did I ever do to you? Oh, you rebelled me. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Please. I didn't think it would end like this, but no, listen boys, we can't give up. This is not the end. Or maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> well, I uh, lost Corsica, I lost uh, Luca. Um, Parma's still my subject, but apparently I'm about to fight another war with Morocco and Milan. So, uh, they can break free. You know what? You know what, Parma? 
I gave you life. But fine. If that's how you want to do it, it's fine. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. You know, luckily our uh, our colony in uh, Cape Verde is still alive. The one in Miami is still alive, we're building it. Listen, we're not... Oh my god, we lost so much land. <laughs> we lost this too, to Mantua. Pain. Real pain. Have you ever experienced it? Oh, come on, man. Urbino? Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus Christ. I, uh, I, uh... <laughs> I think you can feel how angry I am. <laughs> Finally, a tiny win after that massive L. I needed this, boys. <laughs> I really needed this. How uh, the mighty have fallen, man. From a one province minor Bologna allied to Austria and France to a uh, big Bologna that has been defeated. Allied to Lance Hut, Brunswick, and an OPN Pope. You know, at least I got colonialism. <laughs> at least I got colonialism, man. Nice. You know what they say? Um... Well, you know what they say, but I have to exact my revenge on someone. Well, not really revenge. I gotta take out my anger on someone, and who better than Milan. So let's declare on them for the conquest of Cremona right here, calling the OPM Pope, and let's fight them. Uh, is this a bad decision? I guess we'll see in a few seconds. You know, it looks like it paid off after all. It paid off after all, man. We're nearly fully occupying Milan. Just Brescia here left. Knocked out Saluzzo. These guys are sieging down Ulm. I think it's gonna be okay, boys. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> no, I'm not. Here, a colony in Miami is done. Um, let's, uh, let's colonize this, huh? Right here? No, who's... Someone else is colonizing there. Bruh. Fine, I'll go right there then. And that's the way the cookie crumbles for Milan, boys. Now, what can we really take here? Let's see. Hmm, maybe something like this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, this is the peace deal. These two provinces and these two for myself. I'm gonna make them give these back to Savoy to make them weaker. Uh, what am I doing as well? Yeah, war ups and money. That's it. All right, Milan. Hope you had your fun for like five years there, dumbass. Wait, why did I take this? <laughs> I'm stuck there now. <laughs> How do I get out? Help. So my colonists got kicked out from here, but apparently now here a colony isn't getting built, so I send them here. It's time to relink with my old ally France, I did just re-ally them. The reason I lost the alliance with them is because they wanted to break it with me because I was allied to Austria. And I said, hey, I'd rather have this Austria than this France. But I was wrong. I'm so sorry, France. I could only hope you would forgive me. Way to go, France, man. Looks like I chose the right ally this game. They landed three armies in England, dude. Well, more than... Yeah, three. And uh, England is just being England. Oh my god, dude. Castile just full annex Florence, man. Those are all super high-value provinces. And I still can't join a coalition against them. I still can't join. Dude, I'm angry. Bruh, France decimated England, man. They took Cornwall over here, all right? Picardy somehow has popped out. I'm not sure if they were involved with that. But they made them release Northumberland and Gale them as well, man. Jesus. In fact, this is a pretty cursed map when you look at it from afar. We got Austria owning Krakow. That's pretty cursed. Aquilia exists. Provence is big and has replaced a Burgundy. What's up with Utrecht and Berg right here? Then we got a big Verden, big Saxony, weird Brandenburg. Rupin has popped out. Sweden owns North, North Jutland. They're looking pretty strong themselves. And uh, yeah, we got Bologna and uh, Castilian Italy. So I guess just a usual game of U4. Anyway, time to exact some more revenge, this time on Mantua, because I hate them. So I'm gonna declare on Saxony right here, uh, not Saxony, Savoy, so I don't have to fight Castile right here. So yeah, let's... What? Am I gonna have any luck this campaign? My genius, it knows no bounds. You see, dear viewers, I have re-allied Austria again, and they just called me into this stupid war they're having versus Poland and Lithuania. But by doing that, they can't actually defend Savoy if I declare on them, because, well, they're already in a war with me. So let's declare for Nizza right here. Ah, uh, yes, I will be fighting Mantua. Let's call him my boy Franz. Right, right. I thought this was only if uh, we're part of the Empire, right? So I guess, I guess... Why do I keep forgetting the most basic mechanics every single run? <laughs> I suck. So what I was gonna say, ladies and gentlemen, is that because I can't declare on Savoy to fight Mantua here, I started spying on Croatia because I'm a genius, right? Croatia isn't in the HRE. I can declare on them and fight Mantua as well. Well, the thing is, I am already in that war with Croatia. <laughs> So I can't declare on them either. Now, what do we go with for our next idea group here? Nothing will really help us since we're pretty much wrapping this run up, am I right? But I still want to try and exact revenge on some of the guys that beat me up previously. What would help me with that? Maybe quality, I guess. Why not? Infantry combat ability? Sign me up. 
Tier 6 government reform? Doesn't really matter. Let's get one more diplomat. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, after many twists and turns and uh, thinking I'm big brain, but turning out that I'm uh, actually small brain, I have gathered 50 favors with Austria, and now I'm gonna make them, uh, where is it? Break their alliance with Croatia. Perfect. They're not allied anymore. You know what that means, boys. It's time to declare on Croatia and fight Mantua as well. Mm, I love it. Let's call on France. Let's call on Lancelot. Let's declare and get our course back from Mantua. I really hate them. Probably my second most hated nation this run after Castile. Ah, uh, yes. It feels good exacting my revenge on Mantua. Ah, uh, so good. We have suffered so much, my dear viewers. We have suffered so much. Finally, we are seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. Ah, it seems that, um... Yeah. Once again, the Castilians have decided to bully us. Like it wasn't enough previously. Pain. Remember how much pain I experienced last time? This time, ladies and gentlemen, it's even more painful. Luckily, this time, I do have a France on my side. Austria, surprise, surprise, decided to betray me again. But listen. Boys, this time, I'm not giving up that easily. Okay, since we need to shift our attention to these guys down here, Castile, Portugal, Aragon, Naples, who else? Who else? Am I fighting someone else? Ah, uh, we're also fighting Navarra and Portuguese Brazil and Castilian West Indies, of course, of course. We actually still have more troops than them, funnily enough, so shout out to all of these guys that joined. But listen, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves and let's peace out Croatia and Mantua for the stuff that I wanted, which is basically the cores I lost to Mantua. Ah. Feels good to get our horse back. Okay, France, my boy. I need your help. All right, all right, boys. Not looking too bad so far, man. Not looking too bad. We've occupied Castile here. We're gonna push into Naples now. Well, hopefully, France will hold them off over here in the south of, well, France. And uh, yeah, we might be able to exact our revenge on Castile, everyone. We might just be able to do it. All right, everyone. Well, I think I've pushed into Castile far enough. Listen, I don't want to lose my armies 70 times over. But can we exact our revenge? Listen, any anything other than a loss is a win here. Let's be real, boys. And an even bigger win is us to be able to take back our core that we lost in Luca. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this massive, massive victory versus Castile and their subjects Portugal, Navarra, Aragon, and Naples. Yes, I will take Luca. And yes. I did just defeat all of these guys by myself, France totally didn't help at all, and took back my core. That's how powerful Bologna is, everyone. That's how powerful Bologna is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, in the meantime, while I was completely obliterating Castile, totally didn't lose every battle, by the way, I did manage to colonize the province of Long Name, which I'm gonna rename, I don't know, Texas. There we go. No A, just Texas. <laughs> And we are able to move our capital here and form the nation of Texas. But how, you ask? How can you move your capital to a new world? Well, obviously, first, we need to put it inside a state. So let's state that full stated, of course. And now we should be able to do it, right? Wrong. You can't because we still have lots of provinces over in Europe. So, ladies and gentlemen, we do need to get rid of all our provinces over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out someone. Who do I pop out? Um, let's see, maybe Urbino right here, or no, I know exactly who to pop out. The only nation that didn't give me any trouble during this run, Ferrara, the first nation that we conquered. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're simply gonna go into this tab right here. Grand Province Urbino, Grand Province Ravenna, Grand Province Parma, Luca, Padova, Genoa, Verona, Brescia, Bergamo, and Albenga. I think that's it. I think I just gave every province I have, except for my capital of Bologna, of course, to my subject Ferrara, who still likes me, by the way, even though I'm an OPM. So shout out to Ferrara, man. Like I said, the only nation that didn't give me any trouble. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we should be able to move our capital to Texas. And that is true. Boom. We are now located in the new world. We're a new world nation. This is actually how you do a, you know, true one tag and stuff like that by moving your capital to the new world. But now we should have the decision to form Texas and we need to own more provinces. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, since I just found out that we actually need four provinces to form Texas, a little anticlimactic, I know. Let's get rid of quality ideas. Boom. Yes, 800 mil points wasted. I know. I literally don't care. If you care, come on, bro. Get real here. And there we go. We have another colonist. Let's colonize uh, this right here. Perfect. And maybe we can recall this guy and uh, send him over here. Sweet. Now we'll be colonizing four provinces at once, and as soon as they're done, we'll be able to form Texas. Am I bleeding money? Yes. <laughs>
Listen, maybe I shouldn't have released Ferrara this early. Well, it seems that, you know, this whole colonization thing, I really didn't think it through, boys. I should never release Ferrara this early. That's why we're <laughs> losing so much money. But fear not. I can simply ask my trusty sidekick friends here. Oh, okay. All right, boys. 920 colonists, 850, 800. I can almost taste it. I can almost taste the success. Mmm, Bologna. And ladies and gentlemen, our colonization over in Texas has finished just like that. And the decision to form Texas has shown up. Your country changes to Texas, you will abandon all core provinces and subjects in Europe, Asia, and Africa. You'll annex all colonial subjects, changes to kingdom, blah blah blah, new traditions and ambitions. And let's do it, everyone. Let's accomplish the goal for this campaign, baby. Boom. Yes, please. There we go. We are Texas. And the achievement has not popped up yet. Maybe I need to unpause? And there it is, it just popped up for me. There we go, Spaghetti Western starting as Bologna. Become Mexico or Texas. Really, the easiest run I've ever done, boys. Like I said at the start, Bologna is one of the most powerful starting nations that you can possibly get in Italy. But yeah, man, there you go. We started off as Bologna, joined the HRE, found some strong-ish allies and not-so-strong allies. We allied Florence, Milan, Austria, France, started our expansion into Ferrara and then into everyone else around us. Getting ready to release a bunch of subjects, we actually did create a powerful subject, Parma, before we got declared on by Castile the first time, lost Luca, lost these provinces to Mantua, lost our subject Parma, which had four provinces over here, but then we managed to recoup and reconsolidate and take over everything that we previously lost. We got our course back from Mantua, we got Luca back, we got Genoa and Albenga back, we didn't get Corsica back, but hey, who cares about Corsica, am I right? And then we popped out Ferrara at the wrong time, a bit prematurely, what can I say? And then we finished up the colonization of Texas, and finally, formed the nation of Texas, and got our achievement, Spaghetti Western. Honestly, everyone, a pretty fun campaign as Bologna, man. Like I said earlier, I love playing in Italy. Never played Bologna before, and I said, why not wrap up this achievement while we're here in A to Z? But I'm happy to say that this run as Bologna in A to Z is a success. And that has been Bologna in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk Live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.